Timeline of Theater History Ancient Greek theater started as early as the 8th century BC. It contained many famous playwrights such as Sophocles, Aristotle, Euripides, and Aristophanes. It first practiced the art of writing scripts for the stage. Roman theater started around 240 BC. The major playwrights were Plautus, Terence, and Seneca. It had a variety of entertainment, such as mimes, chariot racing, and gladiator combats. It became very influential during the Renaissance. Medieval theater began during the fall of Rome and the beginning of the Renaissance. Medieval theater was heavily influenced by Catholicism because, the, because Catholicism was ruling during that time. The Renaissance, which was usually dated during 1580 and 1680, was one of the most famous times of theater. This was the time of Shakespeare, who was said to be maybe one of the most famous playwrights of all time. This period was amazing for output, as some playwrights wrote as many as 1800 plays, even though some people said that this, that this age was about quantity over quality. The Neoclassicism era began after the Renaissance and was first developed by the Italians. It had effects on most of Western Europe that were to last over 200 years. This theater was emphasized to teach and to please. The melodrama era developed in the 19th century. These plays presented two-dimensional stock characters, including a well-defined villain, hero, and heroine. Most of these plays ended happily. The realism and naturalism era developed during the 19th century. It developed as a reaction against the escapism of melodramatic plays. There were very few clear-cut heroes, villains, and happy endings in these plays. And then we go to the postmodern postmodernism era, which was influenced by anti-realistic events that preceded most postmodernists. And I hope you enjoyed my presentation. Thank you.